Hey, have a look at this. I never actually played any old video games of low graphics, and yet I still somehow get nostalgia when looking at pictures or videos of them. I'm attracted to the low quality, minimalistic style and the computers these games used to run on, which is why I spent the last few weeks learning how to recreate this style. Before I give you a brief run through of how I went about creating this model, just know that there's a link to my Gomorrah in the description for you to download this model and scene along with others I've created in the past for only five euros, an absolute bargain. Oh, wait, what are you? No, 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 not allowed. Now, in all honesty, this is probably one of the easier and more rewarding projects I've set upon myself. It's low poly and requires simple textures. Like, I wish models were still this easy to create. Imagine how easy your job would be as a 3D modeler. You get a cube, do some loop cuts, move some vertices, slap a texture on it, and boom, a fish. This fish is actually from Super Mario 64, just in case if you recognized it. All right, so a brief overview. I drew a reference picture of how I wanted my low poly girl to look like. Let's not talk about it. I swear I can draw better than that. I started off by following my reference and creating a base, followed by the shorts, jacket, hair, and shoes. Then I mapped out the UVs, pretty easy. Because the textures are so simple and low quality, I did all the texture painting in Blender. I did later import them into Photoshop to lower the quality even more and add some noise. Using Rigify, I added an armature and aligned all bones to it. The automatic weight painting did a good job, so I moved on to creating two sliders for both the blink and the mouth movement. Now, I'm a B-roll. I stole the note set up from La Cruzo's YouTube video. I'll put a link to his video in the description. Anyways, I attached the face sliders to bones so you can control it all from the rig to make your life easier when downloading this rig off of Gumroad. Okay, okay, sorry, I'll, I'll stop. The scene, I honestly don't know where to start. It's just a whole lot of basic modeling and textures that even someone who has beginner and blender knowledge could probably make in a week or so. But if you want a tutorial on anything from this scene or low poly in general, just tell me. Anyways, I've done enough 3D modeling this week. I'd say this animation perfectly describes how I feel at the moment.